like an heir that you really right now. You can't purchase it. You can't do anything for it. It's just around you. Hallelujah. It's just there. Amen? And because it's just there, you take advantage of it. Amen? Yes. Uh, you follow me? Yes. You take advantage of it and you live. Same way with God's grace. Just take advantage of this grace that's made available to you and live. Okay. Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you. God is good. Yes, he is. Amen? God is great. Thank you. We sometimes complicate things, which we don't need to. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord gets the complication out of everything. Thank you, Jesus. All we do, need to do is believe. Yes, he uh, Believe what he said. Uh, <laughs> believe what he said. <laughs> Are there any prayer requests? Are there any other prayer requests? Thank you. Keep, Brother keep Margaret in there. She's still struggling with bronchitis. Amen. Let us pray for her by his stripes. She is healed. Amen. My sister. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Pray for your strength in the Lord. Amen. My sister. Same thing. I, I just want the Lord to just continue to strengthen me. Amen. Yeah. Amen.
We're in the presence of the Lord. Yes. But he that keepeth Israel, he doth slumber. How glory does he sleep? Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We serve a God uh, that is awesome in all his ways. Yes. Yeah. His, his very name declares that he's omnipresent. Yes. Uh, uh, he's everywhere, one place.
which is in heaven. All right. He said, be followers therefore of God as dear children. As children imitate their parents, you have to imitate your heavenly father. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. Uh-huh. And sendeth the rain on the just and the unjust. I tell you God do that. Yes, he is. Yes. He's good to the saved. He's good to the unsaved. Yes, he right. is. Amen. You've got to be good to the saved and good to the unsaved. Uh, Amen. 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 Uh, all right. For if ye love them uh -huh. which love you, yeah. what reward have you? Uh -huh. Do not even the publicans the same. Uh -huh. Those that those this is he's talking about uh, 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 <laughs> fellows right here, brotherly love. Yep. And fellows is is I just love them that love me. Mm -hmm. uh, that ain't God, is it? No, sir. All right. And if ye salute your brethren only, uh -huh. what do ye more than others? Uh -huh. Do not even the publicans so. All right. Now, let's go back over. Let's go back over. He said, be therefore followers of God. As what? Little children. As, as dear children. Dear children. Amen. That is important. How you live. Mm. Am I right? Yes. We agree with that, though. Yes. All right, read. Verse 2. You want me to go to 48? No, no, no. I want you to go back over to Ephesians, okay. chapter number 5. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse 2. That's going to be our base. Our base. I'm going to go to some different scriptures, but that's going to be our base. Always keep that. All right. And walk in love as uh -huh. Christ. Now, what's the key word there? Love. Walk in love. Walk in love. Amen. Live in love. Live in the agape. Now, you can't keep these commandments, but we just talked about. You can't imitate God without walking in love. Amen. And you got to have that, that the, the love that is produced. By the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. This love you were born with. Mm -hmm. nope. This love you were born again with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difference. Yes, yes, it is. Amen. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Can we attain a godly love? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And we attain. See, his question was, can we attain a godly love? And I said absolutely because that's the type of love that is produced by the Holy Ghost. All right. That's part of the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. And that is produced in you. Yes. When you feel to God, love increases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's right. That's Father, right. Go ahead. I was going to ask, how do you really know you have it? Because you have love for different levels of love. Uh-huh. So since you have different levels of love, my love for my wife is more than a lot of people that I know. So I can have a godly love for her. How can I have a godly love, say, for this brother? Uh, by, by, you, you, it's given to you, it's given to you when you receive the Holy Ghost. Okay. I receive the Holy Ghost. Yes, it's in you. Now, I know I have the Holy Ghost, but yeah. how do I know I have that? Okay, I, I can kind of understand what you're saying. Uh huh. Now, how do you know that? Really now, he, if he have done something, I thought that was wrong to me. Yeah. And within the inside, I'm upset. Uh -huh. But it's what you're saying, I will forgive that immediately? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's how you know you're walking in. Right, right. Yeah. You know you're passing from darkness to light. Because of your love for the brother. And how do you know you have to be? It's part of what we just read in Matthew chapter number five. Love your enemy. That's unnatural. Uh, it's unnatural for you to love your enemy. Amen? He says, bless them that curse you. Uh, some, some folks have cursed y'all. <laughs> Which you all know to it. 
what y'all can understand, when I, when I was working, I do understand because when I was working before I retired, a lot of things was happening to me at work. People that was prejudiced, tried to make me lose my job. I didn't feel bad about it. I just knew what type of person they were. So I forgave them. I, I, I've even, which I know this guy was prejudiced, he was having a diabetic attack. Mm -hmm. I went to the, can the canteen, did all I can, and brought him back out of it. Now people were asking me, why'd you do that? You know he doesn't like me. I said, why shouldn't I? I mean, he's a man just like I am. He's alive just like I am. I should take care of him. Is that close to being it? Being a golf you love? Um, now when you say close to being it, just be more specific when you say what I'm, what I'm saying is, I did what I was supposed to do, and I know this man hates me. Right. And if you do it with joy. Right, right. And, 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 and you do it as unto the Lord, you know, and, and, and you have a genuineness <laughs> about what you're doing. Right. Amen. Amen. Bible talks about love mm -hmm. uh, in the... Book of Corinthians, chapter 13. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everything that we do has to be motivated by true love. Uh, and you know, God they love. And, and when you operate in, in, that, in that love, uh, then, you, then you can fulfill and keep God's command. You can't. Something. If you're not going to say it this way, oh, uh, it's hard to, to, to love your enemy. They got their foot on their neck. They're talking about somebody just, just, just lying on uh, The people that are actually out there get you. Uh, persecute you. Uh, persecute your children. <laughs> uh, and you know, you turn around and do them good. He said, if the enemy hungry, hunger, give them, give them some food. If he's it, if thirsty, give him some drink. Go spin. Uh, do him right. Treat him right. Uh, uh, amen? amen? And you have to allow the love of God, the Holy Ghost, to dwell in you. To do that. Now let me say this. Let me say this. When, when you're born again, you have a godly love in you. It's in you. Yes, sir. It's in you. Amen. Everything you need, when you get born again, is in you. Thank you, Lord. Amen? Yes. Amen. We just have to release it. We just have to let it go. Let it show up. Don't, don't make me strange, bro. 
you can jump off that. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is that the agape love is something that we grow into. Yes. You don't, you, you don't want to test me and my agape love on the day I receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Right. It's something that everything about us grows. That's yeah. why we have to contend. Absolutely. Absolutely. But when we say agape love, agape love is the only thing that can make you look down and say, forgive me. Forgive me. I'm forgiven. Forgive me. Yeah. They didn't know what they were doing. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's look here. So he says, walk in it. Walk in it. Walk in love. Now live your life in love. Don't live your life in hate. Amen? And, and you have to have a love that, that people are uh, they're going to hate you. You're not going to agree with everybody. Everybody's not going to agree with you. No. Amen? But the command is walk in love. And in order to walk in love, i got to forgive people of their offenses for Christ's sake. Amen. Huh? Like God Amen. No matter what they've done to you. Mm. Amen. That's walking in love. Read. Walk in love. Also has love. No. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Read the word. As Christ. Yeah. Also has loved us. Now look. Imitate Christ. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Imitate Christ. Love like Christ. Am I right? When, 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 uh, when they need Jesus, how they on that cross, y'all know that was pitiful, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, the Bible says his very vision was lost. That's the other recognition. He was beaten. Am I right? He was innocent, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, um, yeah. Thank you, Lord. He was wild, wasn't it? Yes. That was yeah. uh, He was ridiculed and mocked, yes. wasn't it? And, and you know, uh, uh, TV paints a picture where you know he got that loin cloth across his, uh, his genitals. Amen. They they weren't about that. Uh, they were about humiliation. Right. He was on that cross, everything exposed. Right. Yeah. Uh, that was humiliation. Right. You follow? Me? And what was his response? Father, forgive them. Uh, 
We don't want to become a stumbling block for nobody. Nope. All right, Reuben, where we at? Where we at, Jerry? We are, and have given himself for us. All right. Our offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. Now, no, he gave himself as a what?
She's not that anymore in Christ Jesus. Oh! 
verse 8. Alright, read verse 8. For ye were sometimes darkness. Alright, now you were sometimes darkness and you lived your old lifestyle. But now you've been born again. Read. But now are ye light. Uh, now are ye light. Read. Walk as children of light. Now look, no, you keep using that word children. Imitate the light that you are walking in. Amen? Be dear children. Light has a source. Am I right? Darkness is absent the source. When, when you were first born, you were absent the source of light. But when you got born again, the source of light came into your life. Amen. Amen. And now, uh, Jesus even taught, let your light shine. Yes. Your righteousness, your holiness. Let, let what the Lord has done for you, let it shine before me. Right? Yes. Now, now, notice. The sun is the source. Right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And even in darkness, the sun is still shining. How do you know it's shining? Because it gives light to the moon. Mm. As you know, that has no source of light. Right. Am I right? Right. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and in darkness, you ought to still be shining. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Why? Because you still have the source within your life. Hallelujah.
Am I right? Yes. Let's go over here real quick to, to we're going to come back to that. Let's go over here real quick to the book of St. Luke. St. Luke. St. Luke chapter uh, 16. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. St. Luke chapter 16. We have to say amen. Alright, and just drop down then to verse number eight. Let me let me let me leave you some context. There was a rich man who was a steward over his house. Yeah. He, was a, he was an unrighteous steward over his house. Right? And the master knew he was unrighteous and said, I'm going to come to you and close out my books and then I'm going to do some evil to you because you, you've been wicked. The, the, the unrighteous steward went to one person and says, how much how much do you owe my master? He said, a hundred. He said, maybe fifty. And went to another one, he said, how much do you owe my master? He said, a hundred. He said, maybe eight. So that when my master kicks me out from his business, I can go to one of you guys and hopefully you'll give me a job. Mm. Uh, you follow me? That's what he said. He said, if master gets rid of me, you know, I did you a favor, you do me a favor. Mm -hmm. I did you a favor, and you do me a favor. Right. Follow? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, let's look at it. <coughs> Verse of the And the Lord commanded the unjust steward. Uh, now the Lord commanded him, the unjust steward. Read. Because he had done wisely. Uh huh. The Lord said he done wisely. Read. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Now, now look, look what the Lord said. He wasn't praising the God, the God for being rich. He was praising you know, for doing right in that circumstance. So why would he say that? Why would he say that? That, that. And the Lord commanded the unjust steward to call him unjust. Because he had done wisely, for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of life. Why would he say that?
Ephesians, what we have? Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. Verse 9. Ephesians 5. Well, we finished 9. We are 10. All right, read verse 9. All right. All right. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. All right. Verse 10. Uh huh. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now, God wants you to prove, not to yourself, but to other people, what he accepts. Right. Amen? What is the purpose of the church? What's the purpose of the church? That's the trick question in this. To you gather know, souls. The purpose of the church. <coughs> to gather souls. It's, it's, it's multiple purposes. But go ahead. To gather souls. To, to, to gather souls for what purpose? For, for God. For God for what purpose? To show the world God. To show the world. To show the world God when was on his track. Was he, for, for what? He said gather souls. For the kingdom. For the kingdom. To bring them in. Amen? Amen. For people to get saved. Amen. Right? So that people can, can spend eternity with God. Receive salvation. Amen. That's my Christ out here. Right. Huh? To reconcile us back to God. So that we can have eternal life. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Is that the purpose of the church? Is that the will of God? Yes. Amen. Yes. Are we focused on that will? Do I realize that all of my actions, everything I do, everything I say, everything I don't do, everything I don't say, affects that person? It does. Mm -hmm. wow. That's where we falter. Am I right? Did God give me, did God give you everything you need to accomplish this purpose? Yes, he did. Yes. Yes, he did. Amen. 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 Um, yes. Sister? But so we don't always utilize every tool that we have in our box. Why not? Why do we use? We're too busy doing other things. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can have my mouth. It's our focus. Huh? We want to do other stuff. Yep. Exactly. Amen. Huh? We can get other stuff that's important. Huh? We can distract easily. Yes. Yes. Amen. No! 
You've got to fast. We don't, we don't, we've got to cut off somewhere along the line. People don't want to fast no more. They could ain't talk about it. <laughs> but we got to fast. Right. Am I right? You got to eat, fast, pray, do. Don't. Huh? Don't. We've got to sacrifice. So what are you saying, Brother Pastor? You've got to have a system to read his word. There should be a time huh, that you have called out to study the word of God. Because if you study the word of God, you get his thoughts. Huh? Huh? Then you establish his way. Am I right? You've got to get a system of prayer. You can't have actually pray. Huh?
know who you are. Now you know the Bible says, uh, uh, what's that scripture we use? Oh, God, help me. To look for a woman, to lust after her. Huh? You know that was evil. Huh? You know you know who should have been doing that. Huh? Huh? You know you were a child of God. Are you so innocent? All right. Aren't you righteous? Well. But the accuser of the brother. And now, listen, listen, listen. What does that affect? He won't read. He won't pray. He'll stop praying. He'll stop fasting. Yes. Going to a cell. Huh? Till he comes back to church on Sunday. And repent. That's the devil's sister. Come on, man. Because it was cultivated. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Absolutely. Now, what should he have done? I mean, you know that. Yeah. But what should he have done? After the devil came with the gift with the church. Cast out the national. Yeah, and yeah. put the word of God on it. Put the word of God on it. Built it right away. Put the word of God on it. And first repent. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Huh?
Great one.